I have a good feeling. Bill Haskins isn't happy about a 15-day campaign for a seat that will be the highest public office he's ever sought. But he doesn't expect the governor to change that date either. I think he was considering the Democratic Party rather than the citizens of Newport News when he called that election on December the 28th. The Republican city councilman says he wants to represent Newport News on a level where he can help increase the city's revenue sources. We need to, to look at some other areas of funding that localities can use. You know, what about uh, an additional sales tax, which is a, probably one of the fairest taxes is what we have. To, to give us an opportunity to obtain some revenue to pay for those funds that are mandated by the state. He credits the new coal pier, $176 million worth of tax base, as he calls it, as evidence of his commitment to taking the tax burden off the people. And... Haskin points to this, the Oyster Point Industrial Park, which he helped create during his 10 years on the council, as another project that helped create jobs and a better tax base for the city of Newport News. Admittedly, the most conservative member on the city council, Haskins has two weeks to find out if what's winnable on the local level is also at the state level. In Newport News, Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.